Hi everyone, Kurt with Hypnodyne. What you have just watched here is a demo of an olfactory stimulation system created in less than a day using the ZMAX platform. Why would you use olfactory stimulation and how is that related to sleep? Well, the sense of smell is very evolutionarily ancient. The olfactory nerve, in fact, is directly connected to your amygdala and other inner brain structures. Therefore, it is able to powerfully regulate mood. Uh, there are also some studies showing that smells can affect the content of dreams, in particular the emotional tone of the dream itself. So there are areas of research that would benefit from experimenting with smells. For example, is it possible to turn a nightmare into a pleasant dream by stimulating the dreaming patient with a pleasant smell? And also, can we use a smell as a dream cue? As you know, in lucid dreaming, we train ourselves throughout the day to do a dream check in response to some external stimulus, such as a light. If you're not familiar with lucid dreaming and dream checks, I recommend you read up on that before proceeding. Because dream content is strongly visual and very often tactile, the brain actively shuts down these sensory inputs so as to avoid conflict with internally generated perceptions. It shuts down hearing as well, for the most part. Um, and that is why hand rubbing works. Uh, you might be familiar with the hand rubbing technique. Uh, this is a way of preventing a lucid dream from fading out, especially when you're about to wake up and you want to remain inside the dream. As you awaken, the brain must choose to relinquish control of the perception that it's generating to the outside environment. And that is when internally generated perceptions, that is dreams, have to end. But by giving the brain a strong sensation coming from your dream body, such as rubbing your hands or even spinning and things like that, uh, you can help your brain to choose to remain within the dream body and not exit the dream. It sounds really silly, but when I tried it, it worked like a charm. I was so surprised. Anyway, since the olfactory sense is not a major component of dreams, and since it's got this uh, very ancient pathway to the limbic system, it is possible that evolution just didn't bother or find it necessary to completely inhibit this sense. And if so, it might be possible to achieve far higher dream incorporation, far higher effectiveness in dream cueing by using an olfactory stimulus instead of a visual or tactile one. Now, how would you use this type of system? Uh, well, for instance, uh, the, uh, the deodorizer could spray uh, once every hour when you're awake and working at your desk. And when it does, you would perform a dream check and associate the activity of dream checking with that particular smell. During sleep, the smell would be triggered by REM sleep and you would perceive it hopefully within the dream. So do the dream check out of habit and realize that you're inside the dream and then you would be lucid. Now for a technical explanation of how I put this together. The first thing was to hack a deodorizer. I chose one that has a bunch of different cartridges so I can change the smell if I don't like it. In fact, the smell I chose is a little bit, <laughs> it, it's not really pleasant, it stinks. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try with other ones. I, I think it's probably because I'm spraying it too near my face for testing, it should be, should be at some reasonable distance. These things are very concentrated essences, so uh, they're meant to be sprayed, I don't know, put it somewhere on, on, a, on an elevated, a platform or in your in your restroom or, or in a room. Um, so that's probably why I find it a little bit repulsive. I, I'm, I'm too close to it. But anyway, it shows a deodorizer that has several different smells so I can change if I don't like one or, or try to, to see which one might be the best one. And then I opened it and figured out how it, wor how it works inside. It's got a button. So the first thing was to, to see if I could hack that button. Um, eventually I got two wires out. One was the ground of the circuit inside the deodorizer and one is the line from the button itself that goes to the microcontroller inside the, deo the uh, deodorizer. And when you open it, you're not going to see a microcontroller. There's a little blotch of black. That's because, well, that's called a chip on board. Uh, just for cost reasons, uh, they put the naked microcontroller without the epoxy package and cover it. But yeah, so those black uh, circles, those black drops that you see inside their microcontrollers are Anyway, integrated circuits. So I got one line that was the ground of the circuit and the other one that was the, uh, the, the line that goes from the button to the microcontroller of the deodorizer and I, and, I, and I patched them out of the device with wires. Now anyone with some knowledge of electronics can do this hack, it's really easy. 
Then I connected those wires to a USB device. Now, in my case, I found a broken ZMAX board that I had laying around, but you can easily use an Arduino. In fact, it's probably easier. Uh, but in my case, I removed all of the ZMAX code from the board and just got it to accept one command through the USB port. That one single command activates the switch by grounding the line, uh, just like uh, happens when you push the button on the deodorizer. Then to send the USB command uh, to my circuit, I used HID Sharp, which is a library for C Sharp. So the program is really, really easy. You just have to put in the vendor ID and product ID. You can make these up if you're not going to release it. And it's, uh, that, that tells the software to, to connect with your specific. And if, if you're using an Arduino, it's got a serial port. So in that case, you don't need HID Sharp. You just uh, open the serial port from C Sharp. Okay, uh, and then I made an executable file out of that so that whenever I call this uh, file, the thing just sprays, okay? Then uh, on the ZMAX side, I extended the application HD recorder, which I remind you is the application that's acquiring your sleep, monitoring it, and it's got the scripting language. And I added a new function that allows it to call an executable file. Uh, with this, everything was ready to just go into the JavaScript code and add that command to, to launch my executable file to trigger the smell uh, whenever I want it. So for testing purposes, I'm calling this uh, spray.exe when I push a button on the ZMAX uh, transmitter. But of course, in a real setting, you wouldn't use the button. Uh, you would connect that function to the code that's called every 30 seconds and check uh, so that you spray only if the flag uh, pertaining to REM sleep is set. When you're sleeping, an HD recorder is looking at the data coming in. It will continuously call JavaScript. And if you're in REM sleep, it's going to pass a parameter, which I called is REM. So you would uh, simply check the parameter. And if it's true, then you could uh, uh, trigger the spray. And perhaps you want a delay as well, as the, the smell is quite strong. And, uh, and that's it. Now we're planning to conduct a study with ZMAX and olfactory stimuli both their incorporation within dreams and whether they can be used to uh, treat nightmares. And, but that's depending on whether we get a grant or not. So if you wish to cooperate, uh, feel free to get in touch with us. And of course, ZMAX is available for sale on hypnodynecorp.com. Thank you very much for watching.